I hate when men are always like, oh, women are always looking for men with money. Yeah, because you have nothing else to offer, okay? You're not loyal, you're not reliable, you're not trustworthy. You have nothing else to give us but money. If you're talking to a guy that claims to be interested in dating you and you say something like, oh, I'm going to get my nails done or my hair, I'm going to the mall, and he does not offer to send you money to contribute to that, you need to block him and you need to block him quickly, okay? As a man, if a woman asks you to do some shit, the only replies you should have is yes or yes. women <laughs> hey, i'm just telling my truth okay i've been literally had i remember i lost my virginity at 12 years old i remember the boy everything i remember the whole day like it was yesterday but um 12 bitch to now mm, it's it's been a lot girl is it just my body Not count everybody. for just niggas or niggas and bitches everybody mm. uh, i would say like I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I say like 2,000. <laughs> to be real honest with Like, if you put niggas in bitches, because I done fucked a lot of bitches too. So I be fucking niggas. I be fucking bitches. And I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to front. Like, I'm going to keep it blood raw. Like, bitch, probably two. Two bands. <laughs> two 2,000 bitch sexual partners. Absolutely. Yeah, it is what it is. You know what? Hey, only God could judge me. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I think my brain just committed suicide. I am pregnant with my ex-husband's baby while I'm in the middle of a divorce from my current husband. I've been living two lives, one on another social media platform and one here. But I'm here today to tell you guys, I can't keep living two lives, okay? So yeah, when I was seven years old, I met the love of my life. Um, we literally fell in love. I was seven, he was 10. We got married when I was 19 and he was 21. Um, we have our daughter together, Penelope, she's 12. But here's what I did. I cheated on him with my boss, yeah. I know, I'm like a shit person. Um, I got caught and I was pretty belligerent. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Your new body positive BFF, effective immediately. And we're going to a movie premiere, let's go. Took an Uber downtown and my Uber driver was the nicest person ever. Like we talked about the housing market. Okay, I got sidetracked, back to the premiere. Another view of the red carpet, definitely immaculate vibes. Just like me. Here we go, girl boss iconic. This is my friend Lindsay who invited me to the premiere. She definitely regretted that. With Chrissy from Stranger Things, she totally woke up. Terrible joke, but like it's fine. We took a break and went for dinner. I totally forgot to film everything. You're welcome, but that was the best part. Then we saw this guy from Squid Games. I don't want to say his name because I 100% would mess it up. I'm doing him a favor. Then I slayed the 360 photo booth. Danny DeVito, I love your work. Okay, bye. Women. <laughs> Iola Davis says that audiences who don't see the woman king are supporting the narrative that black women cannot lead the box office globally. Apparently, the Dahomey tribe in this movie is going to overcome a bunch of white colonizers who are coming to enslave them. But this movie is in utter rewriting of history as far as the Dahomey tribe. What they left out in the movie is that they, in fact, were a slave tribe actively engaging in enslaving their own people and people from other regions in West Africa. The movie plot is white people have only ever enslaved black people. It's never been black people enslaving black people. It has always been the evil white European colonizer. Look, well, Viola Davis, if these are the movies that you come out with, then you can't. Make something better. Make something that's not a complete and utter fabrication to push forth your own agenda. And then after subsequently doing that, telling people that if they don't watch it, they're racist. <laughs> Women. <laughs> I wanna go home. I wanna go Nasty bitch <laughs> Sensational <laughs>